Number 10. A. Refer to Table 1.3 to determine the average distance between the Earth and the Sun. Then calculate the average speed of the Earth in its orbit in kilometers per second. Okay, so if you were to go to the uh, book and you look up Table uh, 1.3, you'll find that the distance between the Earth and the Sun is going to be the value of 10 uh, raised to the 11 meters. So let me draw a simple picture. So uh, let's say here's the Earth as a dot, and then let's call this object the Sun. So here's the Sun and here's the Earth. Right? And the distance between the two, as it says in the book, is 10 raised to the 11 meters. Okay, so now it wants to calculate the average speed of the Earth in its orbit in kilometers per second. All right, so what we need to do first is we need to conceptualize, well, um, how does the Earth travel around the Sun? Well, it travels in an orbit, right? And it travels in a circular orbit. Well, it's not totally circular, but let's just assume it's a perfect circle uh, for this problem. So I'm going to draw now its orbit. And what a beautiful circle. Okay, so here's the circle, uh, if you can call it that. And... Um, if I had to calculate now the distance of this circle, right, or not the distance of the circle, but the different, the distance of the circumference, right, that's what this represents, this particular distance, um, we, could use, we could do that by using the circumference formula, okay? So let me write that down over here. So the circumference formula is circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi times the radius. Okay, so... Remember, the circumference of the circle I drew is really the distance the Earth will travel. Okay, so let's calculate that first. So circumference will equal 2 times pi times the radius, which was 10 raised to the 11. Okay, and by the way, that's in meters, right? So the circumference of the orbit is going to be 2 times pi times 10 raised to the 11. Oop. Hold on, just plugged it in improperly. 2 times pi times 10 raised to the 11. Okay, here we go. So, works out to be approximately 6.3 times 10 to the 11 meters. Okay, that is going to be the uh, distance that the Earth travels. So, this equals the distance. Okay, great. Now, if I were to ask you, how long does it take the Earth to travel around the sun? You say, oh, it takes a year. Okay, and that would be correct. So now what I can do is basically I can reformat uh, this distance to really be a speed, right? By doing the following. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the distance, 6.23 times 10 raised to the 11 meters, and I'm going to divide it by one year. Okay, what does that do for me? Well, now it gives me a speed. It gives me a rate, right? It tells me how, uh, it tells me the distance that the Earth is traveling per year. Okay, so the math works out simply here. 6.23 times 10 raised to the 11 meters per year. Okay, now what this problem turns out to be is now it is a simple conversion problem. Okay, so I did all that work prior so I can make it or turn it into a conversion problem. So basically now the problem will be this. 6.23 times 10 raised to the 11 meters per year. And what I need to do is I need to convert that now into kilometers per second. So remember, three-step process. And remember, this is always per one year. So first convert the meters to kilometers. That's step one. Step two will be to convert the years into seconds. And then step three is going to be to divide the kilometers by the seconds. Okay, so step one. 6.23 times 10 raised to the 11 meters, convert that into kilometers. So 6.23 times 10 raised to the 11 meters. Meters on the bottom, kilometers on the top, and the, rate, and the relationship is one kilometer for every thousand meters. Great, so the meters will cancel. So now I can simply take this and divide by the 1,000. So this works out to be 
6.23 uh, times 10 times, oops, times 10 raised to the 8 kilometers. Okay, so we're good there. Now step number two was now to convert the one year into seconds. Okay, so let's write down what we have. We have one year. Years on the bottom. Well, I, if I know how many seconds there are in a year, I can put seconds on the top, but I don't. So let me do days first. So there's 365 days in one year. Great, so that's get, that gets rid of the years. Then I'm going to write days on the bottom. And now I know how many hours there are in a day. Right, 24 hours in a day. So now the days cancel. Then I know how many minutes there are in an hour. 60 minutes in an hour, so the hours cancel. And then uh, minutes on the bottom. And now finally seconds on the top. 60 seconds in a minute. Oh, all right. So now we can calculate this all out. So 365 times 24 times 60 times 60. And I'm going to round. So 3.15 times 10 raised to the, just count, looks like 7. So 10 raised to the 7 seconds. Okay, great. Now all we have to do is simply take the answer to part A, or not part A, but part 1. Right, so 6.23 times 10 raised to the 8 kilometers, and then divide that by 3.15 times 10 raised to the 7 seconds. And when I do this, I will now find kilometers per second. So let me plug that into the calculator, to the 8 divided by that answer. So this comes out to about 19.8 or so, 19.8 kilometers per second. Okay. That would now be the answer to part A. So that's the rate in kilometers per second. Now what we need to know is we need to find, it asks us for part B, but it says find the uh, rate, the speed that is in meters per second. All right, so let's use our answer we found right here, the 19.8 kilometers per second, and let's do a very simple conversion. So I'm gonna do that here I'll, uh, I'll actually do it on the top line. All right, so I'm going to write letter B here. Okay, letter B. So it looks like we're going to take the 19.8 kilometers per second. Let me just rewrite that so it makes it a little neater, per one second. And we're going to convert that into meters per second. All right, so the only unit that changes here is the numerator value. It goes from kilometer to meter. And if you notice, the denominator stays the same. So I don't have to do anything with that denominator. So I just got to convert the numerator value, and that will be the answer. So let's take the 19.8 kilometers. I'm going to put kilometers on the bottom, meters on the top, so that the kilometers cancel. Now I think about my relationship. There's 1,000 meters in a kilometer. Great. So now I just have to multiply it out, right? So you can plug that into uh, the calculator. So 19.8 times 1,000. This is easy enough. You probably don't even need the calculator. All right, so this comes out to 1.98 times 10, converted into scientific notation here, raised to the 4 meters. And then, that's the answer, right? And now all I have to do is place this value over 1 second, and that's the rate. So, it just becomes 1.98 times 10 to the 4 meters per second. Final answer. Remember guys, if this video helped you out at all, please subscribe. It does help us out a lot. Thank you.